Hey guys, we are painting shoes today, and this is my first time painting shoes, so please go lay on me, and this is also the first time I'm taping shoes, so it does take me a long time. So, as mentioned, I'm going to tape the shoe. This, as mentioned earlier, is going to take a long time for me. It's quite a struggle. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to introduce to you guys, I guess it's called a new series. And this is the first episode, I guess, because the series is painting on random things. And if you guys have any suggestions on what to paint on, then you guys can let me know in the comments. And shoes are not really that random, but... They are something, so I might use this series as an excuse to just paint on things that I want to paint on. So, if you guys have any suggestions, leave it down in the comments. Okay, finishing up on the first shoe, now the second shoe. And that looks way neater. And what we're gonna do now is sketch our design, and that's the photo I made. So, as a reference, and to just get my ideas on so I'm not freehanding it, because I am painting on a shoe, and I don't want to mess up. So now I'm sketching the first one, which I went really lightly, and a tip is to draw your sketch smaller than what you're going to paint, because it's better when you paint over and you can't see the eraser mark, not eraser marks, the pen marks. And you guys could erase it lightly with an eraser after, but it's better not to. Now I'm mixing my colors. So I'm using Liquitex paint and Liquitex fabric medium. You guys can use any fabric medium, but I'm using Liquitex and its formula or ratio is a one to one. And as you can see, I'm making my yellow and I added a whole bunch of red, which I did not like, and I muted it out with a little blue and I did take it out, but I forgot that I need to put it in the fabric medium. So I put it back in. And I did make a separate lighter yellow, as you'll see later. And there you go. And I put that on my little cap because I could mix colors on it and not contaminate the big cup of paint. And I'm making the green now, which I didn't like the base color of it and I changed it a lot later. But I added a lot of yellow and darkened it with a lot of red. And now I'm going to the back of the shoe, which is a very light aqua blue color. And I muted it with a little bit of green and some reds. And I did forget to make brown. But that is the first color we start with. And I made that off camera, as you will see in a moment. There you go. We're going to start with brown and color the inside part of the sunflower. Then we are going to just do that for the rest of the inside of the flowers. I don't know what you call these, but I'm just going to call them the inside of the sunflower. So now I'm painting on the petals really roughly with like a bigger t tipped brush and no particular order, just following my sketch. And I'm cleaning it up a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with a thinner tip paintbrush to like add flow to the petals and just give it more definition and clean up the messy edges. And I will do that for all of the flowers. And as that dries, I'm going to move to the back of the shoe, which is an ombre from the lighter blue to white. So I'm going to do... It with a smaller brush first. I'm gonna outline the area that I want colored in the smaller brush so I don't get any paint that I don't want onto the white shoe. And I'm just doing a thick, messy border of the light blue around the window part of the, or the back of the shoe. And then I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush and white fabric paint that I just mixed the fabric medium with white paint. And I'm just 
rubbing the white around so it's a very smooth gradient and that did take me quite a while so yeah moving back to the front of the shoe I'm going to start cleaning up again and I did mark a spot on the white shoe so it just covers up with white paint hopefully that works and I'm gonna go on with the darker yellow which I planned earlier and said earlier that I'll put the lightest yellow first and then shade in and add darker yellows which that's a tip for painting start with the lightest color and then build up shading and layers and as you can see that's what I did with the first layer then the second then the third and then the last one the little tiny ones and now all my flowers are done except for the insides of the flowers so I didn't know how to do this so it did take me quite some time but I figured out a way and I will first outline the middle of the flower with a darker outline and then I just went in the middle making a concentric circle for the center of the flower just stippling white so it looks a little fuzzy and it's catching the light and it did make it look a little bit cartoony but I think I love it and it's I don't think it looks good and for the inside of the concentric white circle I did darken the edges so it looks like it's in deeper than the rest of the flower and I will have to do that for the rest of the middle as you can see that turned out pretty good for the first time and I need to do the rest now so now that we're done with all the flower parts we need to work on the stems as you can see I'm trying to fix the green because I didn't like how it turned out so I'm mixing and mixing and as you can see I fixed the whole pot of paint the whole cup of paint and it took me a lot of yellow and I made a bigger pot because I needed, I knew I needed the color for the other shoe, so I just changed the whole thing so the colors aren't mismatched. Okay, so like the flower part of the sunflower, I'm starting with the lightest color and I did the stems, then I added the leaves, and while the leaves are drying, because they it was a thick coat, I'm going to do the back and I'm going to do a sunflower field. But I'm going to add the clouds first, just take a big brush and lightly dabble on some white paint in cloud shapes. And now I'm going to go in with my lightest color of yellow and putting a loose band. It doesn't have to be straight or perfect, it just needs to be staggering. And as you can see, I'm going in with my darker color just sporadically, just dots all over the lighter band. And to build up more shadow and darkness, I am going to go in with my third darkest color of yellow. So it creates some variation in the shadows of the field. And now I'm making the stems and to make it look like it's a whole field of them, just move your thin brush up and down from the bottom of the shoe to your sunflowers and it doesn't have to be perfect. Just Okay, so once you're done with the base layer of stems, just go in one more time, but make more defined stems and just more prominent lines so it looks like that's the front cover of stems and then the backing is just the rest of them. And once you're done doing that, I did add the leaves and the leaves are just dots. There's no particular shape to the leaves. They're just dots and leaf shaped and print this in quotation marks and that's it now i'm gonna go in with the middle i'm gonna make the middle of the sunflower by just making dots of the brown just small dots the front or the near the bottom are the bigger dots and once you go up the band they're gonna get tinier and tinier so it looks like they're farther away and i did add more yellow i did thicken my band of yellow because i wanted my field of sunflowers to be more full and just the light tiny dots so it looks in the distance. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I went back to the front of the shoe, which is basically the same thing going in with darker color shading 
and that is it and as you can see the lighting has completely changed because it is very dark because this took me so long and I'm proud of it though it turned out great but I'm gonna need to finish the shoe up with a band of blue I painted the band of blue and there you go and excuse the lighting because it was actually night outside so and I did paint the stitch of the shoe, and we had to do the second one, basically the same thing with the lighting and the shading and everything. So with my magic paintbrush, bam! There you go. And we're gonna bring in the other shoe. <laughs> there you go. And all we need to do now is peel off the tape, which should be satisfying here. So, let's do this. And once I've removed the tape, I saw that some of the tape covered some of the shoe, so there's little white spots from where the shoe, or the canvas part meets the band of, <laughs> from the shoe, and I'm going in to fill that white space with green, and I didn't shade it because it was just such a small portion of the shoe that I didn't think it needed it. And I did forget to take off the tape off the elastics, which is kind of annoying. I eventually notice it and take it out so don't worry guys and we are finally done with the shoe I think these turned out great and I hope whoever receives them will love them and all we need to do now is to take some shots so you guys could see it and whoa <laughs> look at those shoes they look pretty good in my opinion and I did like the back of the shoe where it looks like kind of like a window into looking into the flower fields. And all we need to do now is box it up, pack it up, and just wrap it so it could be given to someone. Overall, it was a great experience painting on shoes, and it was a long experience too. And I would love to paint on shoes again, but I'm not sure what the theme would be. Anyways, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and hope you watch others Because this might be part of a series painting on random things So I hope you'll see in the next one and 